what's up? Hey, so uh, we're gonna be talking about electrical work now. And uh, what's happening, oh, take care. It's one of my employees. Um, so we're in an elevator, we're gonna be going up. Work's being done on my body. I'm going through the gravitational field, rising up, right? Mass times gravity times height. But what's getting me there? The elevator, electrical work. We need to talk about that. Electrical work, the same thing that's lighting these bulbs. So, let's get into that. Hey, Winona, how you doing? Uh, hold on my calls. Will you uh, be in the uh, boardroom? Whatever. <laughs> Thanks for the coffee. Hey, that's my coffee. So, hey. this is my personal boardroom, by the way. So electrical work. Electrical work. Let's see. We'll just call it a big W. All right, now, for all the other sorts of work, you're uh, taking some force or force-like quantity and it's being displaced. You know, for mechanical work, uh, it's actually a force and it's the distance I, over which I apply the force. For torque, I mean, excuse me, for rotational work, it's the torque, right? Times the, the angle I move through. For fluid work, uh, what causes things to move, the, the force-like quantity is pressure difference. And what's being displaced is volume, so pressure times volume. Now for electrical work, the force-like quantity, the thing that causes electrons to move, is the potential difference, delta V. And the thing you're moving is charge. I'll just remind you, Q is charge. And in units are coulombs. And coulombs is uh, given by a capital C. Charge is just this another weird property of particles. Um, you know, all these particles, all particles have uh, have mass, and they have something called charge. And we can use that to do work. You know that light charges repel each other. So if I've got a if I've got an anode, if I've got a battery here, and here's the cathode, and I've got all these electrons sitting on the cathode, they hate each other. And if they can get away from each other, they're gonna do that. And they're gonna go through some circuit. I think we've used a battery mostly. Excuse me, uh, we used a light bulb. Put a switch in there. As soon as I close this switch. All these electrons here, suddenly they've got a way to get away from each other. And not only are they being pushed away from this cathode, because there are a lot of electrons, a lot of negative charge, but they're being pulled toward the anode where there's positive charge and opposites attract. And so as they move through here, they're going to go through this light bulb and they're going to do work. You can do it a lot of different ways. With the incandescent light bulb, uh, what it does is they go through there so fast, the friction heats up the bulb until it glows and you're doing work. You're turning electrical energy into some other sort of energy. The work is energy. So, so how do we measure it? It's kind of hard. See, uh, it's difficult to measure charge, but we do have a way to do it. So I need to tell you about something called current, and we'll talk about current more during the second quarter of physics. But current this is given by a capital I. And current is the rate at which the charge moves. So it's charge over time. So we'll say I is current. And you know Q is charge and T is time. So what should the units be? They should be the units of charge over time. Well, charge is measured in coulombs. And time is in seconds. And one coulomb per second is the same as one amp, or one ampere, or one A. You've heard of amps. It's the rate at which the charge is moving. It's difficult to measure charge, but we can measure the rate at which the charge moves. We can measure current. So here's what we do. I want that charge piece. Okay. 
So what I'll do is I'll solve for charge. I'll multiply both sides of the equation by time. And when I do that, I get charge all by itself. So I can say charge, let's see, I multiply both sides, is current times time. And that'll work. I'll have coulombs per second times seconds, give me coulombs. I can measure current, I can measure time. It's hard to measure charge. So here's what I'll do. When I measure electrical work, I'll measure potential difference. Instead of charge, right here, I'll measure times current times time. Same thing. But I can measure all these things. So electrical work is generally measured as voltage times current times time. Gosh, Bob, can we do an example? Sure, I'd love to.